This is a spool holder that comes with the new Prusa MMU, and you get you get five of these, and they they click together, and they rest in these little wheels. This is what the spool holder looks like before you put it together, and these wheels here sit inside of a cavity, and then these two things click together. I'm trying to improve this by using a ball bearing wheel instead of one of the plastic ones. And so here I'm printing a part I've designed. It just finished printing. Okay, so this is what I ended up with, and I put it together. It looks sort of, and these things don't really stay on together, but it looks sort of like the same, the same wheel size. I just got to tweak it a little bit. This is my first iteration. I'm printing iteration two now. The, the size of the wheel is fine. The size of this casing is fine. The bearing just fits in it you know, perfectly, but it needs. I need to make it, instead of two pieces, make it one piece and have it come up the sides and maybe clip over the edge just slightly. Then this rod part, where the sizes of it were too small. So that's what the that's what the redesign is going to look like. This is iteration two, and it's, it's almost done printing. Uh, but it didn't even cut you. Okay, here's the next iteration. So we've got a higher wall now. So we don't have to print the supports. And that's going to go... That's going to go in here. So they're roughly the same, the same width now, like that. I made this tiny little improvement in Fusion 360. You can see it. It's a, uh, it's a little lip right there in the top. Very subtle with two chamfers on the top and the bottom. So the bearing can slide past that. And there are three of those. So that locks the bearing in. And I've adjusted also the depth of this to make it fit better in the slot. And then on this one, I've enlarged some of these distances to make it a little bit tighter fits because I don't want the thing to move around. So let's see how this works now. So these are the parts printed out, and so now we just put a wheel in each of these. You can see that that snaps in because we have those little nubs now. You can kind of see three of them, and it doesn't fall out. And these are the same width as the other ones. See, that's the idea. Kind of sit in there, but we've got ball bearings. So we can put it into our, and put the other one in here. And then it doesn't matter which side we put in because it doesn't, it really doesn't matter at all. Put it in, and put the other side. So this is what they look like, little pins. And so that's how you do it. And then you put it on, and you just snap, put your little pads in the bottom. And now you have a ball bearing 